Welcome back, y'all Blade fans. This old sword is with you once again with a new knife from Artisan. At least, I'm pretty sure it's new. Uh, haven't seen any reviews out on it yet. Sometimes you never know when these things have dropped. Anyway, this is new from Artisan, and it is their first collaboration with custom knife maker Mike Snowdy. It is the Accelerator. Take a look at this bad boy. It's a big knife. Got a blade nearly four inches long of AR RPM9, which is Artisan's proprietary steel, somewhat akin to 9CR18MOV. I am told. Fairly thick, not that thick. Pretty high grind, well, maybe midway. And feels pretty slicey. We'll see if we can do some paper before we're done. <clears throat> a frog in my throat today, early in the morning. Don't have the vocal cords warmed up yet, I guess. Really nice green micarta. Nicely done. It's got that medium sort of texture. Uh, you don't see threads coming out all over the place. It is, however, not slick. Uh, I would call it a, a good texture. Some of you guys have been asking me in the uh, comments, you know, whether it's uh, slippery or grippy or whatnot. And this one also has a very nicely done thumb ramp with very nicely done jimping. I would call it just about right. It is a hole opener and it is smooth and drop shut on bearings. Has a titanium clip with Mike Snowdy's moniker on there that looks like a dollar sign. Hope he's making money. Probably is. <laughs> Although I understand that's hard to do as a custom knife maker. So uh, I can't lay claim to knowing very much about that. So because of the hole, you can easily middle finger flick this knife. You can easily flick it open with the thumb. It's got kind of that teardrop shape to it. You can, if you wish, roll it out with the thumb. The detent seems to be pretty good. Can't shake it free, at least not with one hand in front of the camera. Um, really nice brass, either brass or brass looking. Might be brass pivot surround T8 there and uh, what appears to be T6s on the body. Um, interesting little shelf there on the back that meets with the thumb ramp. And I guess you'd call it kind of a spear point harpoon, you know, because uh, the way that raises near the end, that is not sharpened, as you can see. And uh, what I'm going to put up in front of the camera is from the Artisan website. So um, there are uh, a few things here that they're saying about this with a powerful 3.75 inch blade in AR RPM 9 steel. This knife cuts with an imposing figure while still feeling light and fluid in the hand. So I'm not going to bore you with all their advertising hype. <laughs> However, here are the specs on it i'll bring them up close um, blade length 3.86 that's the total length 98 millimeters 0.15 or 3.7 millimeters blade thickness blade finish is stone washed uh, or black pvd depending upon the model you get it's a flat grind ar rpm 9 and the HRC is between 59 and 61. Uh, they really are staying conservative with that. Uh, but I don't know what the steel will take. It is a, considered to be a drop point. I'm calling it a spear point harpoon. Um, overall length, 8.86 inches or 225 millimeters. Five inches closed. And handle material is micarta with a clip being titanium, ceramic ball bearings. And the weight is six ounces. There's my question. It might be six ounces, but let's check. 
Always fun to do a little bit of measuring in front of the camera, right? Let's see if we get six ounces. Oh, yes, we do. 6.024. <laughs> yeah, we'll call that six ounces any day of the week. So, yeah. And uh, let's see if she's got any weight relieving, and that is why. That's why this is about coming in around a $98 knife. I uh, got this from White Mountain. And no, there is no zero weight relieving. Steel liners, pretty thick liners. Engagement there appears to be about 30% maybe. And We've got uh, some room to grow there as far as uh, blade to handle ratio goes, I would say. And we've got what looks like brass, but could be simply an anode um, backspacer, a short one that turns into a pommel spacer. And we have a nice hidden lanyard pin. I like it when they do that. So you want to use the lanyard fine. If not, you don't see any interruption of the profile there by drilling holes through the, the handle. Interesting ergos to the handle. This feels very comfortable. And if you come back here, you got a place for the pinky. If you go reverse grip or point down grip, feels very comfortable putting the index finger in there and capping it, very comfortable capping it. I like it in this position. Although personally, don't find much use for this position with the edge out. I'd rather have the edge in, and then that becomes a whole different ugly feeling in the hand, <laughs> for lack of a better term. So their first collaboration with Mike Snowdy, and Mike Snowdy, I know he's done some Benchmade stuff, and I'm not super familiar with him as a maker, but he is uh, obviously well-known. Uh, so just for shits and giggles, as Austin Powers once said, or maybe said more than once, <laughs> let's try the old paper cut routine. Ooh. Come on. Yeah. I would call it sharp by my ability to cut paper in front of a camera. Get the paper out of the way it's blindingly white so yeah comes through with a pretty nice serviceable edge how that would hold up i don't know you'll need to get out to places like outpost 76 where they do some excellent testing um maybe apostle p and some of the other people that uh, do testing jared neve um and maybe for a disassembly as well. It's not something I normally get into. So having said that, let's look at this big boy next to some comparatives here. How about the Kaiser Paragon Mini or Mini Paragon? It's about the same length. And even though it's a fairly tall blade on the accelerator, and by the way, the accelerator has this stock number. That is a 1860P ODG. So ODG for OD green. This one's got like a brown, very nice micarta on it as well. This is a crazy shaped blade, kind of a really high, wide recurve tanto. Here's the Boker Yokai, designed by Alessandra DeSantis. Also, pretty much in there as, as long a knife. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's a ever so slightly longer. But again, uh, blade length, just slightly shorter. That is the Yokai. And if we put the, well, let's go with a larger standard model knife here. When I say standard model, well-known. Ontario Rat 1. 
and it is right in there. Maybe it's slightly longer than the Rat 1, certainly a taller blade than the Rat 1. And finally, Griptilian. It's going to be a bigger knife than the Griptilian. Let's face it. Yeah, a good inch and a quarter or so longer. With a blade about a half inch longer. In that ballpark. So, um, interesting large knife. It is definitely got the fidget factor going for it because you can use the thumb or the middle finger flick very easily. And it is really nice and smooth in drop shutting. Could it be a good EDC for you? Yeah, it could. I mean, it's got that that penetrating ability there, the way they've got the uh, tip set up with the swedge, harpoonish sort of thing. And the harpoon angles forward, so it looks like you're not going to get much drag if you're punching it through cardboard or other materials. When you pull it back out, you've got a little bit of a ramp there. Speaking of ramps, uh, pretty good. I'm not big on titanium clips on... Uh, micarta or g10 handled knives uh, maybe a lot of you guys like them i'm an old spring clip guy even though they bend sometimes i just find they're easier to get in and out of the pocket this one not bad got some pretty good flex to it they did a nice job with this one um, although it's six ounces it's also almost a four inch knife so it does not feel heavy in the hand when it's closed, it doesn't really feel like a sinker, but yeah, it's, is it going to feel heavier than your four ounce knives? Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, it depends upon what you're carrying them in. I have noticed jeans, 511 type pants. Um, if you wear it in your dress pants, dress slacks, uh, work, corporate work stuff, uh, it's going to feel kind of bulgy and on the heavy side. I don't think they got the handle thickness. So in case you wanted to know that in inches, 0.55, not bad. Not really not bad for a large knife. I'm surprised they didn't go the weight relieving route, but I think every time they've got to mill holes through liners, it's going to cost you more. So right now it's about 98 bucks at White Mountain. If you use my discount code old sword, you get 10% off of that. So, you know, close to 10 bucks off of that. Not bad. You coming in maybe around 90 bucks, a little under. And free shipping. So uh, check that out. I'll have links for you for all the models available at White Mountain. And of course, you may be able to find these at Knife Center, Blade HQ, and some of the other usual online retailers. Hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, don't forget to give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with you soon. Got a load of knives to do reviews on uh, here in uh, mid-May mid 2023. So uh, keep an eye out for them. Put your notification on and don't forget to subscribe, as I, th I think I said. <laughs> be well.